Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike. Let's go out and do some thrifting. All right, here we are, first stop of the day, and we're already starting out strong. We got ourselves an orange Elite Strife here for $249 with its magazine. This thing is in really nice shape. Check that out. Even has the warning sticker on it still. Yeah, this thing looks almost brand new if I had to say so, but definitely going to be grabbing that thing. Awesome deal on that. Next up, we got ourselves a white camoed Rival Apollo $349, and it has its magazine with it, so that's really nice to see, but nothing I'm really looking for right now. Putting that over here. Moving on, we got ourselves an X-Shot Dino Blaster. I really like the design of these things. Those are pretty sweet, but this one, I didn't really see a price on that, so not really anything I'm looking for right now anyway, but all good. Next up, we got a Fortnite SG, I believe it was called, for $6.99. Looks like it's in okay shape, but still nothing I'm really looking for. Moving on over here, it looks like we got ourselves a few things. We'll check that out in a minute. We got ourselves a Star Wars blaster. This thing is just like a lights and sounds thing, but really cool design. Looks like we got another rival mag over here. Let's just put that over there by that Apollo for somebody to find. And then let's see what we got over here. We got a big bad bow and this is the Avengers edition. So pretty cool. Nice to see that. If it had an arrow with it, I would have definitely grabbed that, but I don't really need one of those right now, putting that back. And okay, we got another Dino Blaster. All right, this one's got a price. There we go, $249. We'll just stick that with the other one as well. And looking on up here, we got ourselves a Mega Cyclone Shot. Really good Mega Blaster here, six round cylinder, kind of like the strong arm of Mega. Let's see how much this is, $349. Not too bad of a deal. And then what else we got back there? What is this? Uh, oh, this is from like one of those old Nerf Target games, $249. I don't remember the name of that blaster in particular, but all good. Moving on, we got an Adventure Force Blaster, another one I don't know the name of, but it looks like it is uh, got like a drum built into it. First time I think I've ever seen that thing, so interesting to see that. Then we got another one right here. We got the Recon Mark II for about three buckaroos. No mods in this one, unfortunately, so yeah, we'll just be sticking that back as well. And then we got a strong arm here for $349. Pretty good prices at this store. Next up, we got an X-Shot. I think this is the Reflex 6. And then we got ourselves a split strike, and it's together. Let's see if we can find a price on this thing. Uh, see if we can split it in half. Maybe there's a sticker inside or something. Possibly, yeah. Mm, maybe. Come on, this thing is giving me some issues. Let's see. It's kind of hard with just one hand. Oh, well. Moving on, we got a Spectre. And then we have another X-Shot Blaster back here. It looks like it's missing its clip. Uh, anything else hiding around here underneath? We got ourselves a Rebel Crossbow, Etch-A-Sketch, you know, some other cool stuff. But yeah, this awesome condition strife for $249. Definitely getting that. Moving on down here. Let's see if we got any other stragglers hiding around. Um, there we go. Looks like we got something here. We got ourselves one of these Super Soaker Blasters. It almost looks like a Retaliator. And then we got ourselves a Firefly under there. It looks like it was $399. Uh, anything else hiding around here? We got some helmets, some drums, some cars, some gator golf. Looks like we here we go. We got ourselves one more blaster here. We got the Nerf element. And yeah, other than that, looks like that's it. But as I was leaving over in like the big department, we have uh, some huge blasters. This is where they put like outdoor toys and stuff. But yeah, here we go. We got an Infinis and it looks like a Rev Reaper mag is in this one. Uh, it does have some power. It looks like it's got some type of jam issue or something. Uh, for that price, I'm not really too interested right now. And then here we go. We got some hyper stuff starting to show up in the thrift stores. We got the Evolve. And I thought this was kind of cool how it loads. It's got like a little thing you push with your thumb. And then the little door opened. But we got two of these. Uh, no ammo for it. But I mean, that stuff's going to get lost no matter what, I feel like. Not too bad of a price for something that new. It was about six bucks. And then under there we had a meteor. So we're gonna get this strife and head on to the next store. Okay, stop number two and woo wee, what do we got over here? We got ourselves a Titan and it's got its rocket on it, but unfortunately it's been blown out. So this thing's not gonna fire. You'd have to mod it up to get that rocket to work. But $4 for a Titan with that rocket? I mean, it's still got all three fins on it. Uh, that's pretty interesting. You know, I'm gonna think about that. Here we got another newer blaster. We got a Flip 32. 
let's check this thing out. Okay. Well, it looks like it's missing one of its, now it's become the Flip 16, I guess you can say, for $4.99. Only has one half of its side on there, so yeah, we'll just be putting that back. Uh, another little flip blaster going on, but one of the original flips is what I like to call it. We got the, the Duminator down here. And then it looks like we have a Blue Chaos, but it's missing its battery cover, missing its magazine. $4.99, looks like it had some kind of battery acid on it or something down there. I don't know, that fight stuff didn't look too happy. Then we got a Minecraft crossbow here, 99 cents. That's a great deal for that. Really cool looking blaster. Uh, moving on though, we have a Stampede down here. Classic blaster as well. I love the design and look of this guy, super fun. Uh, looks like we got a Maui hook glowing on us. We got another Spectre, 99 cents. Man, these are some nice prices. That's what I like to see. Fortnite ARL, this thing is becoming super common to see, 4.99. Looks like we got an Ultra Blaster in here. What we got here? We got the Ultra 2 for two bucks. Very fitting. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to pick this thing up, definitely. Two bucks for the Ultra 2. Sweet deal. And let's just put that aside real quick while we continue to dig. We got Firefly. Looks like we have a Deploy. And we have a Fortnite Rocket Launcher here. No rocket in it, but $3.99. Not too bad. Uh, what else we got? Anything else hiding? Ooh, wee! I just found one of these recently, and look at that. I, I've always wanted one of these, and now I've got two of them, so that's awesome. 99 cents for this Marshmallow Blaster. Yeah, I'm going to be grabbing that and that Ultra 2, and we're going to head on to the next one. Right on, stop number three, and we are continuing strong. Look at this. We got a Fortnite GL here. Ten bucks, though. Uh, that's okay, you know... If it had some rockets, I would definitely get it, but I think this might be the first one I've ever found, like actually working with all of its plates, with all of its barrels, everything, just missing the rockets. So 10 bucks for a basically complete edition that's in really good shape. That's not too bad of a deal, but we're gonna keep looking on. We're gonna put it up here with its brother up there. We got the rocket launcher and the GL. They're gonna be chilling together. And then we got the reissue of the Super Soaker XP50 over here. Pretty sweet, 350, not a bad deal. Really cool looking thing. I'm, I'm glad they started making some of those old designs again. And then over here we have a demolisher. Again, no rockets. I mean, it's common. One of these days though, I hope I find something with a rocket in it. I, I love those rockets, they're a ton of fun. But putting it back, next up we got a surge fire over here. Let's see how much this bad boy is, six bucks as well. Looks like this store's going up a little bit on these. Stay right there, don't you follow me. Next up we got ourselves a Stormtrooper Blaster 350. There we go. Oh, it looks like this thing was donated from Goodwill also at one point. I don't know. Interesting. And then we got a missing battery door regulator here. Uh, let's see if we got anything else hiding. There's another one of those Maui hooks. I've been finding those quite a bit. And then we got a strong arm down there. Let's look on this side. Oh, one of my favorites. If I see these out, I'm always going to rev up this little saw. We got the cross cut 349. Such a fun little gimmick. Oh yeah, love that thing. Other than that, looks like that's it for this store. Let's head on to the next one. Stop number four, let's see what we got. Starting out pretty with an old school blaster, we got the Super Max 1500 for $299. This thing took some interesting shaped darts, the Super Max darts they called them, but air powered blaster, pretty sweet looking fine, three bucks. Uh, put that up there with that tambourine for a second. And then we got ourselves, let's see, first back here, we got a Vortex Vigilon, five bucks. And then we have a Zombie Strike Long Shot, and it's got a priming handle. Lately, I've been finding those things without that, so cool to see that. And it's got a magazine. It looks like it's just missing the scope that would come with this thing. So not too bad of a find there for somebody. Nice little fun blaster. Love the long shot. Then we got ourselves a Duminator over here, and it's got its priming handle on it, the little screwdriver handle still, so that's pretty cool to see. And it looks like we got some darts in there. Check this out, we got some AccuStrike darts in here. This thing's almost completely full, almost every cylinder has them. And I love this gimmick too, to just flip the cylinders. Pretty fun, pretty cool looking design. Um, nothing I really need, so we'll be leaving that for somebody, you know, somebody starting out, finding some darts with a blaster is always nice. And we got ourselves another Demolisher, four bucks. Don't see no mods, don't see a rocket either. So we'll be putting that back just like we usually do. Um, anything else hiding? Looks like we got a Star Wars blaster back here. Uh, it's one of those like single shot blasters, has lights and sounds, five bucks. But we'll put that back and we're heading on to the last store.
Okay, the fifth and final stop to round out this handful of trips, we got ourselves a Rival Charger. I've been trying to get one of these for uh, quite some time, but I've never really found one that's in the best shape or at a price point that I'm willing to pay. But this thing, $5.99, it's revving up, so I know it's working. Pretty sweet. Yeah, we're gonna be grabbing this thing. Awesome, awesome blaster. Love the look of this thing, pretty cool. But continuing on, we got an older rival blaster. We got the Zeus, kind of the older brother to the Charger. Uh, missing its mag, cost more, so yeah, we'll be putting that back. Uh, not too sure what this thing was. Looked pretty cool. Then we got ourselves a Walking Dead blaster here for $4.99. And it looks like we got a Busby mag here. I feel like that one went with it, so we'll just go ahead and load that in there. Somebody can find that. Be ready to go. Awesome. Next up beside that, we got ourselves an Adventure Force Light Command. Uh, I think this is the first time I've ever found one of these. And checking it out here, six bucks. Uh, no chain on it. It's one of those chain-fed flywheelers. Uh, try to turn it on to see if it does anything. It's lighting up, but it's not wanting to rev and it doesn't have like a rev trigger on it it's just a little switch but cool to see that moving on we have an apollo up here for 249 a uh, good amount of rival stuff that we've been seeing today so that's kind of cool and then up here for 499 it looks like we have a tri strike that actually has its priming handles on it so that's cool uh, no other accessories with it though and then another modulus blaster we got the ecs 10 the original modulus for 499 pretty good deal on that bad boy uh, let's see what else we got going on up here. Lots of stuff to dig through. Looks like we got ourselves a scavenger. I've been seeing this quite a bit, but once again, it's always missing all the accessories. That thing had a ton of them, so putting that back as well, but really cool blaster. Stay. So much stuff trying to fall on me today. There we go. Uh, looks like we got some kind of scope. Uh, I don't really know what blaster this goes to, but if it goes to any at all, but if you know, go ahead, drop me a comment down below if you know what that site's from. And after moving Buzz Lightyear, let's see back here where we got ourselves a Hornet. This goes to that Titan that we found earlier, so if we would have picked that up with that rocket and picked up this Hornet, we would have been super close to finishing the whole system. Then here we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. Every time I find one of these lately, they're missing the priming handle. So we got another Zombie Strike long shot. This one, eh, no good. Uh, going on down here, it looks like we have an X-Shot Crusher. We got the Red Edition. I know there's another Red Blaster that looks similar to this, but this one's definitely a Crusher. Uh, it's just red, so that's cool. Uh, $7.99. I really like that design. Pretty cool. I like how the thing spins whenever you pull the trigger. Uh, what else we got going on in here? It looks like we got another Fortnite rocket launcher. We've been seeing a ton of those lately. Can I find a rocket? Nope. Once again, no rocket. But it looks like everything on this shelf, that's about it. So going on to the other side, and I found myself a blue strife. Let's check this thing out. This thing looks a lot darker than it normally does. Um, let's see how much this bad boy is. Uh, hold on, let me put that down for a second. I gotta put this charger down. It's kind of hard to hold blasters and hold the camera at the same time, so yeah, we'll just stick that there for a second. Let's check this strife out real quick. 249 as well, just like the orange one from the first store, so yeah, I'm gonna be grabbing this as well. Love me a good strife. And it looks like somebody's painted up this magazine. It's kind of like brown looking? I, I don't really know. But yeah, that strife looked a little darker than it normally does. And then we'll just be putting that with our charger that we're picking up. And beside that, it looked like we had a Scorpion, and uh, it looks like a Sidewinder, maybe? And it looks like we had a Jolt at one point that somebody took out of the package. 349 Yeah. Other than that, we're going to grab these two blasters, we're going to call it a day, and we're going to head on home. So, after the handful of stops, we went home with a Marshmallow Blaster, two different Strifes, an Ultra 2, and a Rival Charger. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe if you want. If you'd like to check out some more of the Thrifting Adventures, click on that playlist. If you want to see some of my gameplay, go for that one. Thanks again, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.